Number 50. An electric water heater consumes 5 kilowatts for 2 hours per day. What is the cost of running it for one year if electricity costs 12 cents per kilowatt hour? All right. So um, these problems are confusing. All right. Just going to say that at the start. Now, I'm going to try to simplify it as much as possible. And we gave you some formulas. And I think if you memorize these formulas, uh, it will make sense. Okay. And utilize them. So what we're going to do is I'm going to create this one formula for you. So the total cost of running an appliance will be equal to the cost per joule of running that appliance, meaning the cost per unit energy, okay? Uh, multiplied then by the number of joules that were used. All right, so I'll say number of joules used. Used. So this is your overall formula. To figure out the total cost of running an appliance, you have to know how much it costs per joule to run that appliance, and then we're going to multiply it by the number of joules that were used over whatever time period we're talking about. All right, so if we're thinking about this, it's wanting to know the cost of running it for one year, cost of running this electric heater for a year. Well, then we got to know the number of joules used over the entire year. All right. And we also need to know then the cost per joule. I don't like to work, as you can see, I don't like to work with kilowatt hours. It's just confusing. So I like to try to get everything into just joules. Now, a useful conversion, memorize this, please. I don't even care if you have a reference sheet, memorize it, all right? It'll be beneficial. Uh, by the way, if you, if actually, you don't really need to sit there and memorize it per se. You should be doing enough practice where you see this come up frequently enough where you're just memorizing memorizing it by doing the problems. And if that's not happening, what that means is you're not doing enough practice. So, okay, enough of that dad talk, right? Enough of that dad talk. Um, man, how, how times have changed. How times have changed. Okay, all right, getting back to the problem. So, uh, what I realized first is, um, you know, they give me this particular uh, value here. This is 12 cents per kilowatt hour. I want you to interpret kilowatt hour as just simply a certain number of joules. Why? Well, because it is. We did a problem prior, right, that dealt with this. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to take this value and convert that into cents, aka cost, per uh, joule. So I'm going to take the 12.0 cents per one kilowatt hour. And then I'm going to simply multiply that now by my conversion fraction, right, with the relationship between joules and kilowatt hours. So now we know that one kilowatt hour is equivalent to 3.6 times 10 to the 6 joules. Now what this does is it gets rid of my kilowatt hours and it gives me now a cost per joule. In cents, that is, no big deal, right? There's 12 cents and then we're going to divide it by 3.6 times 10 to the 6 joules. So sounds pretty cheap, right? Sounds pretty cheap to me. So this is going to be 3.33 repeating times 10 to the minus sixth. Now this represents then the number of cents it costs per joule used. Okay. So look, I got this. I have now this component is this piece. Mind you, it's in cents. Doesn't matter. You can convert that into dollars if you wanted. All right, maybe we should, right? Because yeah, we're probably we're probably going to be using dollars in the end. So why don't we just convert this now into uh, dollars first? All right, so let me get rid of that. So all we got to do now is put cents on the bottom, then put dollars on the top. And you know that there's 100 cents in a dollar. So cents will cancel. Divide that thing by 1,000, excuse me, 100. And we're going to get a value. I'm just going to write it down here below. It's going to be 3.33 times 10 to the minus now 8. Ooh, even cheaper, right? Dollars. Not really, though, right? Because it's a different unit. <laughs> Same thing. Dollars per joule. Okay. So now this is the piece that I'm going to use. I'm going to bring it up to the top. Boom. So now we have this component of our formula. All right. Let's erase everything else and let's now try to find the only other missing piece is the number of joules that are used. Okay. 
Now, how do we find that? Well, I would highly recommend you know that watts, okay, is the same exact thing, watts, is the same thing as a joule per second. Watt, that is, okay? Therefore, a kilowatt would be the same thing as saying a kilojoule per second. All right? Same exact thing. Do not put the kilo with the seconds. That's not what it means. Kilowatt would be the same thing as kilojoule per second. So, what they told me now is that we are using this water heater at a, and it is consuming energy at a rate, all right, of 5.00 kilojoules every single second. And how long are we going to run this thing per day? What does it say? Well, it says that we're going to be consuming this amount of energy for this amount of time, two hours, every single day, right? So per day now, per day, I'm going to do my calculation. So I know it's consuming this amount of energy, five kilojoules every single second, but I'm only running the darn thing for two hours every single day, right? So how do I now find then the total number of joules? Well, I somehow have to now get rid of my seconds and just have joules. So if you want to think about this dimensionally, you can put seconds on the top, right? I'll put hours on the bottom. Now, this has nothing to do with the given value yet. All I need to do is convert this now into kilojoules per hour, right? And so basically, remember that there's 3,600 seconds in an hour. So the seconds cancel. If I were to stop my conversion right now, what I would have found is I would have found that... Well, let me just do the calculation, actually. So 5 times 3,600. So this tells me, and this is good for intuition, this tells me that there's uh, being utilized... 18,000 kilojoules every single hour. That's what that just told me. Think about that. That should kind of make sense, right? If, if, if five kilojoules is being utilized every single second, we're consuming five kilojoules of energy every single second, then over one full hour, we should be consuming a lot more, many more kilojoules. And that's what it tells me, right? 18,000 now kilojoules every single hour. So now if I know that there's 18,000 kilojoules being consumed every single hour, and we know that this appliance is being run for two hours, I just have to multiply it. And look how the beautifully the units just cancel, right? So maybe I'll leave out that HR. I'll just leave it H, just so you can see it even better. And now those Hs go bye-bye, and we're now left with kilojoules. And when we do the math over here, we're going to take the 18,000 and multiply it by 2, so what do we get? We're going to get approximately 36,000 now kilojoules. Now, you know, eventually, as you can see, we're going to need it in terms of joules at some particular point. So why don't we just simply do that conversion now, right? You know, to bring this from kilojoules to joules, we just got to simply multiply this thing by a thousand. So this will become then 36 million, million joules. Now it's 36 million joules per day. Right, so I'm going to shove in that per day at the bottom. You might say, whoa, 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 where were those units up here? They were there. I just didn't write them in. In other words, I could have written in this would have been the kilojoules per second per day, meaning I'm going to put the days in the bottom. And then this would have had the day down here, and then this would have had the day, and then this would have had the day. That's just going to complicate it. Instead, what I decided to do was I did this whole calculation, and I just wrote up here per day. I'm doing my per day calculation. Okay. At the end, then, I know what this means. This doesn't just mean 36 million joules. It means 36 million joules per day, because that's how I preface the, preface the calculation. So now I know, though, that I don't want this per day. I want it over the year. Why? Well, it says, what's the cost of running it for one year at the top? Right? So now what I need to do in order to use this formula to find the total cost per year I need to find the cost per joule, which we did already, multiplied by then the total number of joules used per year or over the entire year. Okay? So now what I need to do is do a conversion. So I got to get rid of my days. I got to put my years on the bottom. You know that there's 365 days in a year. So bada bing, bada boom. We'll see you later days. I've seen better days. I don't even know if that's a song, but... Definitely shouldn't be the way I sung it, right? 
So 365, we're going to take that and multiply it by the 36 million. So here we're going to come up with about a value of 1.34. One point, excuse me, 1.314 times 10 to the 10th. So that's 13 billion, 13 billion now joules being utilized per year. Wow. Now we thought, right, when we're like, oh, this this cost is nothing, right? It's like piddlins, you know, this. But we realize, oh, well, we're using a lot of energy, right? 13 billion joules of energy per year. 13 billion joules of energy used per year uh, just to run this electric heating appliance. Okay? So, you know, it's a lot. So, let's do the let's finish out the calculation. Not really sure what I was going to say after that. So now what we're going to do is I'm going to take this value, just bring it up to the top, and those are the two values, and we're just going to calculate. I'll just erase this little part here, and let's just let's just plug it on in. So the total cost. I'll abbreviate that TC over the year, is going to be equal to now our 3.33 times 10 to the negative 8 dollars per joule, right? That was the cost per joule. I'm getting the answer, by the way, in terms of dollars. You know, I don't, they don't really tell me if they want it in cents or dollars, but I guess dollars would be a little more reasonable. I don't know. And um, multiply that then by 1.314 times 10 to the 10 joules now per year. All right. And notice here how these units cancel. The joules go bye-bye. And what are you left with? The dollars you're going to pay per year. Okay. Essentially the cost per year now, or the cost over one year, right? Many ways we can say that in English. So 3.333333 times 10 to the minus eight multiplied now by, by 1.314, by, 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 and times 10 to the 10th, and this works out to be about 438. So this is now $438 per year. And that's how much it would cost to run this heating appliance. So as you can see, um, you know, this is how, this is how they calculate your energy bill. Great. All right, guys, thanks a lot. Hopefully this helped. I will see you in the next problem. Hopefully they're a little better than this. Take care.